At a swank mansion in Auckland, New Zealand, a vintage Cadillac, other high-end vehicles worth millions are hauled away. The man living there arrested, police say, after barricading himself in a safe room and being found next to a shotgun. He calls himself Kim.com, formerly known as Kim Schmitz, and U.S. officials believe he's one of the top content pirates on the Internet. New Zealand police say this about Kim.com and the three men arrested with him. They've been arrested on uh, warrants relating to uh, breach of copyright offences in the United States, money laundering and racketeering. It's one of the U.S. government's biggest anti-piracy crackdowns ever. Officials say Kim.com ran the popular file-sharing website Mega Upload, a favorite of pop stars who sing its praises in a promotional video. I love Mega Upload. I love Mega Upload. I love Mega Upload. But officials say Mega Upload was also a popular hub for illegally downloaded movies, shows, and music, costing copyright holders more than $500 million in lost revenue. The company's lawyer says the charges are without merit. Experts say part of Mega Upload's operation is legitimate. People can send non-copyrighted material like personal videos there to be shared with others. But U.S. law enforcement officials say that Mega Upload also allowed people to send links to copyrighted movies like the new Twilight film there. Others could then be directed to those links even if the material was copyrighted because officials say Mega Upload duplicated those links and then paid outside people to steer internet traffic to the links. U.S. officials say that meant people at Mega Upload not only knew they had pirated material, but helped to distribute it. Federal officials have now shut down Mega Upload's website. But when they did that, hacktivists from the group Anonymous temporarily knocked the Justice Department's websites offline. Are we going to see hacker wars like this every time officials go after people who allegedly traffic in copyrighted material? Yeah, I think I definitely think think we are, and I think it's just an example of the digital wars that exist all over the world with a whole variety of, of topics, not just copyrighted material.